Hello, this is Test Pilot Monkey, and welcome to Citadel. There we go, just had to stop for the intro there. And you can see we've got some instructions of how to control the game. You also have a choice of whether we want to be the male or female character, which I haven't shown here. But, <coughs> I've chosen the female character, as you can see here. So, Citadel is an adventure game for the BBC Micro, um, released by Superior Software. And you can see we've got little things sitting on little pads on the floor. That one was a key. And it goes into the top right-hand corner of our screen. So, we've got a sort of pinkish, um, whitish key. And you heard a pew kind of noise there. That is telling us that one of our... Uh, energy units or whatever you'd call them has gone down so we're kind of timed because every so often that'll happen and uh, we'll uh, find out that uh, we're losing energy all the time there are ways to get them back but uh, I'll uh, give you the story uh, in a bit when we've got uh, some time to go through but you can see there's quite a lot going on at the moment we've got these monks up here Oh yes, there's an energy container. We can pick up the energy container, it gives us a little bit of energy, obviously. These monks, we can use our hex vision to zap them by shooting a laser beam out of our eyes, which is very good. Um, so yeah, switches around the place. You don't want to go through the platforms, that actually hurt you. Uh, so you have to jump around them. Apart from those platforms, which you can jump through, and the, yeah, but anyway, the moving platforms, you shouldn't really jump through, and you shouldn't touch snakes or sparkly things, which I'm doing a bad job of not doing. So here we find the lock, the door, for the key that we picked up. And an easy way to dispatch of a monk. That was uh, pretty simple as they go. And it gives you a lot of time to uh, do it as well, so that's pretty good. But yeah, this is an open-ended kind of castle. You can stumble around not knowing where to go for ages and ages and ages. And uh, I fortunately know mostly the way to go around here. So here you can see we're bouncing on a trampoline, trying to get high enough to get onto the ledge here to get this other key, uh, and then uh, we're going to fight two monks, which I definitely dispatch of there. And you can see we can pick up that um, what's it, trampoline, but I don't want to do that at the moment. Uh, so we'll just jump over these rather dangerous looking fire pits, I guess they're supposed to be, with snakes tagging us. Oh, hang on, but these are fire. Uh, never mind. So yes, this is the kitchen. It's a rather dangerous kitchen because the fire's running loose, so we want to uh, beware there. Oh, no, nope, don't want to go that way. And you can see, we can see into uh, certain other rooms here, but uh, we have to find a way to get into them. You can see we've got the key for that room down there, but we have to get around to it. Now, you can get to that room pretty easily. Oh, this is the arena. Pretty dangerous thing with these square things bouncing around all over the place. Um, but fortunately, they follow a, a pattern, but there's uh, quite a lot of them, so it's easy to uh, misjudge them. But yes, you can get this to this um, room from the, the start very easily, but obviously you wouldn't have the key, so we have to go and get that first. And now we're in the freezer, where we've got these huge snowballs bouncing around. And, uh, <clears throat> yes, we're in the freezer to get ourselves a chicken. Why do we want the chicken? Well, we'll see later on. So now we're dodging, I guess there are icicles on the floor as well. Uh, don't know. But, uh, yeah, you have to be... Get your timing right to get around all this uh, gumph that they've got in the, the freezer, which is just roaming freely and causing havoc. And, uh, oh yes, our heroine, uh, jumps along contentedly, well, really I think it's probably to keep her warm while she's in the, uh, the freezer, because her face has gone blue! Oh, her face is already blue, that's okay. Never mind. Uh, yeah, and that's what happens if you don't line yourself up with the hole properly. So yeah, the easy way to go up the, uh, or the faster way, I think, to go up the uh, ladders is to jump up, as always in these kind of games. So, very nicely dodged there. So now we have a gem and a uh, chicken. 
The gems are actually very, very useful. In, well, everything's pretty much very useful in the game, but the gems are the, the main useful thing which you're supposed to be collecting. And as I said, I'll get onto the story in a, in a bit when we've got time to uh, go through there. So we've got some powder thing up there which we want to get at some point. Uh, that's gunpowder. And right, so what we're going to do now? I don't know. Well, we've got a chicken and we've got a uh, a gem. So, well, what we can do with the chicken is we can cook it Whee! with the fire that's roaming free and being very, very dangerous. And we've, still, we've, we've also picked up a, a blue block, which we put back down there because we can only carry two items at a time. So uh, we picked up a, a blue block there. And, well, we did pick up a blue block. We've seen the blue block, at least. And that blue block will give us some energy if we take it to a certain place. As you can see, we're pretty good on the energy at the moment. We've got 208. Uh, what, 205? Uh, yeah, so anyway, we're pretty good on that at the moment. And we saw at the top, we've got the title of the, the screen we're on. That one's a wild wheel. This is the East Wing. And there are, I think, 10. 10 might be the score. This is very dodgy, uh, well, very nifty dodging stuff going on. But yeah, I think the 10's a score. The 4 colon uh, naught is saying the actual coordinates of where we are, where the screen is. So we're now on the beach. Uh, well, we were on the beach, but now we're in the ocean. And we're going across the ocean, of course. And these um, squid, jellyfish things, are quite dangerous because they're hanging. And of course, you can't touch the uh, the plants that are in there because they hurt you as well. And also, you run out of oxygen if you're underwater, logically enough. And uh, so we want to try and get a bit of air while we can and dodge the things. And so this bit is actually quite dangerous and we can lose a bit of energy here. And that was the, uh, the slow way, but the safe way to go around. I can show you a different way later on. Using our laser vision again, as you might be able to see when we lose our, use our laser vision, we actually lose one health point. But if it hits one of the monks and kills it, we um, get our health point back. So we always want to make sure when we shoot things, we will uh, actually hit them. So here, look, shoot down to 12, back up to 13, so we hit it, and back down to 12 again because the time is running out. Righto, so this is why we want the chicken in the first place, to go to the temple on the island. And these things look a bit dodgy, don't they? Uh, I get the funny feeling I'm being watched here. Oh, our chicken's been taken. I will show you later on what happens if we do not bring the chicken here. But uh, safe to say, we actually need it. So, oh yes, and that is where we put the gem down, but we don't want to pick up the... Uh, the tra um, whatever, springy thing. Um, so yeah, here, this is the sanctuary, and that is where the all the gems, all the crystals go. And this is the starport for our teleporter. Our teleporter needs the crystals to operate. As I said, I'll get on to the story uh, as we're going back over the towards the uh, the main castle citadel thing uh, so we can uh, have a look but uh, yes yeah, so they make this dangerous they put little was it I don't know what you call those uh, crabby kind of plant things or whatever they are but uh, they're dangerous still pretty much everything is dangerous that uh, isn't you know wall or floor or whatever and here we get a little statue, and oh, this thing's homing, and the, the squid down there is homing as well. So we, uh, what that's telling us is we can't go any further that way because we'll just be killed. And if you lose enough energy on a single screen, you actually will, will be taken right back to the start of it. I haven't shown that off yet, but we will see that. So we're going back. I'll um, run through what the story is here. So <coughs> get ready. Are you sitting comfortably? Well... Tough luck if you're not. Okay, the objective. Marduk the Dictator has established a base in an old deserted castle. His slaves have built a teleport which will soon be used to transport the alien invasion force from the planet Cordor to Earth. Your mission is to destroy the teleport system before it is too late. You must find and bring the five crystals to the temple on the island, thus activating the teleport system, teleporting yourself to the alien planet, and bring back the bejeweled figurine which you will find in Marduk's palace. 
When this is brought back to Earth, a field of antimatter will obliterate the teleport system, and the invasion will be averted. So yes, we've got quite a um, quite a big mission ready for us there. And you see, we're on, on the way there, we've got our little blue block, which we will be using later on. But yes, this is just uh, now making our way back to the main island. This is near the end of uh, this video. Um, <clears throat> so we shall be ending soon. But yeah, this is just like the initial getting stuff, opening stuff up kind of um, episode. And yeah, we saw the, the easy way to dodge things there. Well, you kind of half dodge them if you jump over them. And uh, you take a little bit of damage, but uh, it's a little bit faster. Oh yes, and this is what happens if you do not bring chicken with you. This is obviously with the boy instead of the girl. So dumpty dumpty dum, just like normal, and oh my god, there's a big ball head coming after us! Ah! Yes, the screen goes red if we take enough damage, and it kicks us right back to the, the start of the, the room. So obviously we cannot get through there, even if we restart. Even if we try and run as fast as we can to the exit and jump and try to dodge the, the bull head thing, and no, no, it's just not happening. And uh, yes, you can see it is... It's, we wouldn't be able to cross over there without the uh, chicken at all. And they do like their chicken cooked. And that's what happens when you get a game over. It says game over. And you fall off the screen. So thank you very much. This has been Test Monkey. See you next episode.